Mike and welcome to Retro Boost. Today I'm continuing my uh, Retro Tink and Rad 2X comparisons with the Super Nintendo being the battleground that this war is taking place. So last time I compared the 2X Pro against the Rad 2X. And the Rad 2X Nintendo, this specific model be compared here, uh, did very well considering it's like half the price of what I compared it against. The 2X Pro running HD Retrovision's fantastic component cables for the Super Nintendo. And the Rad 2X came across as like the clearer and overall brighter, cleaner device. It was very impressive, which speaks to how it's this speciality driven thing. It's intended for a specific game console, or in the Rad 2X Nintendo's case, a family of game consoles. Whereas the RetroTink 2X Pro is a more general device, given its wide variety of analog inputs. So it goes to show what that speciality does when it's performing that well against a product and solution that's over twice the price. Well, what about four times the price? <laughs> so now this time we're going to be comparing it against the RetroTink 5X Pro to get an idea of how these two devices look. So much like with the 2X Pro, with the 5X Pro I'll also be using the same HD Retrovision and component cables. We will also do scanline comparisons, but the 5X Pro's got a couple additional tricks up its sleeve that make these comparisons a little bit different. So we'll get into that. So if you find the video helpful and informative, feel free to subscribe. It is the best way to help me grow the channel. We recently had 700 subscribers as well. Big thanks to everyone who's watching. I have a lot of fun making these videos and, and playing with these devices and seeing how they perform and comparing them. I find it very interesting. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing. So now let's talk a little bit more about our contenders and then we'll get into the comparisons. First, let's go over the returning champion one more time, just in case you didn't watch the first part or my Rad 2X uh, first impressions uh, video. So the Rad 2X is a line doubling slash HDMI adapter. The Rad 2X is like a family of products and they are built either for specific consoles or like series of consoles. The Rad 2X Nintendo being an adapter compatible with the Super Nintendo N64 and GameCube, since it's using that Nintendo AV adapter tip to plug into the devices. And then on the other side is a HDMI, it's a, a mini HDMI uh, uh, cable that you would then plug in to your television. So you get the convenience of analog to digital conversion, but also line doubling, which helps the resolution of the old console look a little better before it goes to your modern day TV. So it's a way cleaner solution than just either plugging directly in or using some kind of generic cheap solution. So the Rad 2X does a great job with that part of it. It also, very uniquely, grabs onto RGB output though from certain things, like the Super Nintendo and the RGB modified N64 consoles. And RGB as a video format is a big step up from regular old composite. To get a similar level of quality, you'd have to do what I was showing in the last video. Get yourself a 2X Pro, get yourself these HD Retrovision component cables. That would be like peak performance out of a console like the Super Nintendo. But the Rad 2X can do all that same kind of quality just all on its own. Very, very awesome. They build a multitude of Rad 2Xs. There's like a PlayStation 1, like a Sega Saturn 1. They make all kinds of them. So if you're looking to do something like the Rad 2X for your consoles, you just have to get one per each of your consoles or buy whatever series you need and then swap them as you're using them. The other option is something like the RetroTink devices. So RetroTink, as opposed to the Rad 2X, Instead of being like direct adapters that plug directly into a console, they have a wide variety of analog inputs. The 2X Pro supported component, composite, and S-Video. The 5X Pro, today's new challenger, takes all of that but also adds SCART to the mix, making it compatible with RGB SCART cabling. So just like how the Rad 2X can plug into a Super Nintendo, grab onto RGB output and make that its main pipeline. You could also buy like a SCART RGB cable, plug into the Super Nintendo, go into the 5X Pro and get awesome picture quality. But the 5X Pro is more than a converter. It's a full on like video processing device. 
Whereas the 2X Pro and the Rad 2X are line doubling devices, taking 240p or 480i, doubling it to 480p, the 5X Pro can take just about any input resolution, uh, so any game console won't be an issue, up to 480p for most, but it can take higher, 720p or 1080i, and then process that either to 1080p or beyond. And in addition to that, you can also customize and sample and play around with the size of the image, changing the aspect ratio, changing the sampling modes, adding scan lines. There's so much that the 5X Pro can do. But one of the really cool recent things it got the ability to do is flag itself as an HDR device. It can put an HDR flag in the output signal that goes to your television. By doing that, your television thinks that the 5X Pro is a device that has high dynamic range output and switches to HDR picture modes. That allows you to drive the brightness up of the 5X Pro substantially. When you combine that with scan lines, you get great CRT emulation, which is really cool for people that are chasing that unique CRT look out of the 5X Pro. I'm actually working on like a full video about that exact subject, the HDR part of the 5X Pro, so that'll be coming down the line at some point. I've been doing capture for that like today and yesterday and everything. Uh, it's, it's very cool stuff. Uh, but that means that the 5X Pro's scanline experience is next level compared to what the 2X Pro could do that I showed in the last video and other videos. So these are our two contenders, the 5X Pro and the Rad 2X. The 5X Pro, we're going to do three different comparisons. Uh, firstly, two versions of a kind of default perspective. What is default? That would be 1080p fill mode, generic 4x3 aspect ratio. And then, with the HD Virtual Vision component cable as the source interconnect between it and the Super Nintendo, we'll do comparisons both of the dark and the bright positions of the contrast switch of this cable. With the 2X Pro, the dark position was like the one that wins. The bright position just came across as kind of overexposed for certain games. With the 5X Pro, you could really work with either one. The dark setting might come across as like too dark for some people, but bear in mind, you could always edit these kind of settings either in the 5X Pro itself, adjusting gamma, things like that, or with your television, with your backlight settings, your brightness setting, etc. So not the end of the world if you think it's too dark, but we'll also do the bright setting as well. Then we're gonna go totally bananas with the 5X Pro, and we'll flip it into 1080p over, put on the Super Nintendo specific sampling mode, add some scan lines and turn on HDR and kind of see what the 5X Pro can do when you kind of engage all cylinders against the Rad 2X and see what their peak experiences look like. So first, let's take a look at the 5X Pro basic default settings, both dark and bright. Uh, and, like last time, same two games, Donkey Kong Country and Mario Kart. I guess it's Super Mario Kart. Uh, why those two games? Because they're so visually different. Donkey Kong is a very busy, sophisticated, detailed, super weird-looking hyper game of super effects. <laughs> Whereas, by huge contrast, Super Mario Kart is like this very simple, basic Super Nintendo game. So we're going to see what the two different spices of life look like out of these devices. So, here we go!
Okay, going into this, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Like, it it was interesting to me that the Rad 2X Nintendo was, like, clearer and better balanced with its brightness and color than the 2X Pro was. I was just not sure what to expect here, but this was, was, this was interesting. So, as I kind of thought, the dark cable setting might have been too dark. The bright cable setting by default for the 5X Pro, these HD Retrovision cables, was a lot better. The Rad 2X still comes across as like the brighter thing by default, but not the clearer thing. When you kind of pause and take take in various moments and, and, and pieces, the 5X Pro is definitely the more defined experience of the two. 
in the Mario Kart examples, the characters have less prominent kind of outlines around them, and the Donkey Kong Country title screen is obviously clearer and more defined by direct comparison, which is interesting. Part of me is kind of relieved, like, oh, thank God, the $400 something solution between the device and the cabling is better than the one for one fourth the cost. Okay, life choice is validated. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, so, very cool. I'm glad to see that the 5X Pro is really putting the work in. Uh, with that said, either of these two by themselves, though, is fantastic. If all you had was a Super Nintendo, or maybe a Super Nintendo and an N64, the Rad 2X is the more sensible purchase, because you're going to get amazing experience out of the Super Nintendo, and then if you have a regular N64, better than nothing, better than average, in terms of just like a basic converter device, uh, but when you own a lot of things, that's where something like the 2X Pro or the 5X Pro can make a lot more sense. But we're not done yet, are we? No. We want to see what the 5X Pro can really do. So it comes across as the clear of the two devices here, but what about the scan line experience? What about the different resolutions? Well, let's give it a shot. We're going to do 1080p over. We're going to turn on HDR, so it's going to be a way brighter than average image. And then we're going to add scan lines. For basic comparison purposes, this will be the Gaussian scan lines uh, with a strength level of like 20 to 25, uh, with HDR turned on to help compensate. Because uh, HDR really helps with that brightness level, uh, helping emulate the CRT experience. And then it'll be the Super Nintendo sampling mode, and then custom cropping and scaling to get the image kind of seated correctly. So let's see what the 5X Pro kind of running, like I said, on all cylinders against what the Rad 2X can do on its best day. RGB mode, for Super Nintendo at least, no smoothing. Get a feel for what these devices can do that way.
HDR and scan lines is quite the interesting combination. There are so many things that you can do with scan lines. What I showed there is just like a basic example. A, uh, another version of scan lines that I enjoy quite a bit is like Aperture Grill is the preset. As you can see here with Super Mario Kart, very different than the Gaussian just by itself, which are just kind of straight lines basically. Uh, so there's so much that you can do with that. And that's part of what makes the RetroTINK 5X Pro so different and unique is that it's just got this full suite of controls at your disposal for tailoring the experience to exactly what you want it to be between output resolutions, sampling mode. There's all kinds of like more advanced and sophisticated things that I'm still learning and trying to understand that it can also do in terms of how it processes motion, how it talks to the console and like syncs up, like whether you're locking the frame rate or having it grab on to certain things about how the console's output signals function. Like it's crazy all the things it does. And that's part of what makes it different uh, compared to these other options is the that suite of controls. So seeing it compared here, I was interested to compare these devices on a kind of per console level as opposed to doing some kind of like giant hour-long video where I do like an example of each of every game console with these things I kind of wanted to do it one at a time like this to really take in some of these differences and give them all a chance to shine so obviously it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in this scope to compare these devices like the 5x pro against the rad 2x like one's an hdmi adapter built for like one specific console or a few consoles 5x pro it can handle like everything a dvd player can go into it a playstation 3 can go into it like it's built for so much more but i wanted to really focus in kind of one console at a time and see what these devices are doing both at basic level like the default settings of the 5x pro and then like a taste of what it can do with some more of those custom settings enabled like with this 1080p over scanline HDR demo against what a more simple device like the Rad 2X does. And the Rad 2X, like I said before, if Super Nintendo N64 is like all you had, the Rad 2X makes a lot of sense. It's a great device. Even though the 5X Pro is coming across clearer, for some people it may not be another $300 clearer, right? Like, it's expensive stuff. And the Rad 2X is one of the best priced things in relation to the quality of image you get out of a device like the Super Nintendo. And as I said before, focusing on one console at a time, I do aim to do more of these where we'll do the N64 comparisons, we'll do the GameCube comparison, maybe both of those together because it's a little bit different. It depends. There's actually some, some thought there. I could do component cables for the GameCube. So one console at a time. And I plan on eventually buying other Rad 2X devices like the one for PlayStation. We'll do comparisons with that one then, for example, and see how they all do. I like comparing these things because it gives you an idea of like how they perform on their own and in relation to the other options that are out there in, a, in an effort to help people make kind of an informed decision on what these devices do. Etc. 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 And I just love playing with them. That's the part that I get out of this. <laughs> so every video I make, I learn something new. It's it's awesome. So thanks for joining me on this video comparing the 5X Pro against the Rad 2X. I have the previous video if you haven't seen it yet, the 2X Pro against the Rad 2X again Super Nintendo focused. And there's a video on the Rad 2X itself plus tons of other videos on the 5X Pro on the channel and more. Got gameplay with friends, got some goofier review videos I made back in the way back times. And we recently not just passed 700 subscribers, which big thanks to everyone who's watched and subscribed, but we also launched a Discord server for the channel. That's where all the news, updates, and fun conversations go. Plus, this video was posted there early. If you're part of the Discord, when I finish editing videos and they're like ready to go, they go on the Discord first. You get like unlisted video links there. It's pretty cool. You get to see stuff ASAP instead of having to wait for it because I sometimes just kind of forget about things because I'm busy. I 
got other things going on, you know? There's a lot of work happening here. I forget to upload things. Let these sit for times. But not if you're on the Discord server, right? <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone, for uh, joining me on this one. Hope you found it helpful and informative. If you do, feel free to subscribe. Help me continue to grow the channel. 700 recent recent thing, but we're going for the we're going for 5,200 million. So help me get to that, please, or or don't, or just watch it. I appreciate you watching. To be perfectly honest, thank you so much. Y'all have a great rest of your day.